As small towns across the U.S. struggle with the poor economy, the city of Medora, Indiana, is no exception. Now, a documentary is highlighting their fight for survival and the inspirational story that they find their school in through their high school varsity basketball team. It's on the way. We play the good game. I don't care what anybody says. Boys, I'll never lose faith in you guys, no matter what you do. Hopes and dreams, they can let you down. When you come out of that locker room that says the door hornets on it, be proud if you put that door hornet shirt on. All right, we're joined right now by uh, Davey. Rothbard, he's the co-director of the film Medora, and Dylan McSorley's right here, a former player, just graduated uh, on the Medora Hornets. Welcome to both of you. Thanks so much. So what brought you, uh, what brought you, Davey, to this project? You know, I heard about the story. Andrew Cohen is my co-director. We're basketball nuts. We're documentary film junkies. And we heard about Dylan and his teammates on the Medora Hornets. We heard, and, and these small towns, they, they were losing a bunch of games. They, they lost many games in a row. And, and really, you know, we grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And, and you don't have to go far outside of Ann Arbor to find towns like Medora, towns that are struggling. The factories have shut down. Things have gotten pretty dire. And when you see these guys, you know, playing hoops, trying to win, although they had not won in a long, long time, you know, you see the courage and resilience that they have. It's inspiring. So you, you were able to go there, Chronicle. You took it in and yeah, said, yeah, I'm we put this on film. We filmed, we filmed Dylan and his teammates and their coaches for a season. And we really got to learn about, you know, not just their stories on the court, but their stories off the court. Dylan, tell me about uh, why you played basketball. Why it was so important to you? Playing basketball has always been for the team. Well, just to, because we went to a different school for the Medora just to help and stuff. So when we got on the team, we all just became his family and stuff. How many games did you lose in a row? Probably about maybe 20 or so, I and think. And why would you, why do you think what do you think your team meant to your town? Because well, that's like the only thing they have there is like basketball, and everybody just comes to the games. You uh, I don't want to give away the ending, but they do get to win a game. Yeah. And you you struggled during that game. Why? Well, you know, when I'm watching these games, I have tears in my eyes. You know, I'm filming them. Andrew Cohen, my co-director. You know, we're we're filming these games. We want these these kids to win so badly. We've fallen in love with them. And when you see the film. You fall in love with these kids too, and so it was hard to just pay attention to the filming when we were rooting for the team so much to win. So, and you said that when people would walk around the town with the cameras, they most they, the question they'd ask you most is, "How'd the team do?" Not, "Why are you following this team around?" Exa exactly, because you know we became part of the town. We were there for for the better part of a year, and we got to know that they, they were so generous and welcoming, and really opened their lives up to us. So, when you see the documentary, you see just how personal and intimate it is because you get to know these, these players so well. And real quick, Dylan, your, your struggle, personal struggle on and off the court was you, you had the big struggle, should I go talk to my dad? You, you had been separated for a while, and during the film we find out what that is like. So your family struggle off as well as on, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, you, you saw the film? Mm-hmm. What did you think? It was probably one of the best films I've seen, even, even if it's not a great big movie. I thought it was like pretty cool. Well, and you're one of the stars. Uh, Dylan McSorley, thanks so much. Davey Rothbart. This movie comes out in New York on November 8th in Los Angeles and November 12th and then all around the country. That's right. Yeah, Medora, MedoraFilm.com, and it's got screenings listed for all over the country. MedoraFilm.com. All right, guys. Thank you so much thank for coming you. in. It's a great story. All right, coming up straight ahead on